Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Doing some more 620 things. Okay. So our current plan is to get the engine in here. But of course, you want to do it with a crusty engine bay. It's got to be shiny, man. So the plan is to do this in black, actually. I didn't want to paint over the gold, but since it's like kind of been messed with, I might as well just paint it. We have a plan. I have a plan. So the plan is a black hole engine bay, and then I have the engine pop with the gold valve cover. Hmm, what does that sound familiar? <laughs> we gotta take a look at the Z now. Cause with the black engine bay, it makes everything else pop. You know? I think you'll agree. Look at this, look at this dust. Dust. Dang. So this thing as, pops, as, huh? as you can see, black engine bay and then bright engine or valve cover color. And of course other shiny bits. It was a happy accident. I didn't plan for it to be like that, but Well plus your skyline's like that too. Well the skyline's black already. Yeah, well it's a black, but it's a black engine bay, and then the Valkyrie is like a really bright color. That's the way to do it. So that's what we're trying to do with the uh, L20. Like, yeah, we could repaint it Safari Gold, but then you're going to see it against the rest of the paint, and it's just going to look kind of like, eh. Yeah. Like, you know, shiny gold Safari, Gate, Safari Gold paint against the old paint. Like, you see it right there. Wouldn't look good, right? I'm trying to keep the patina. Yeah, so. and we don't want to repaint the whole truck. Not yet. It's Not now. It's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, I've seen a place where you can get the actual paint back by the gallon. So, well, yeah. whatever. So we're gonna do this black, and we're trying to take off the fenders too. We're trying to get into here. We don't want to get under this. So we're gonna do like from the core support up to the window. It'll be all black pearl. Try and save the stickers. Maybe someone makes a reproduction of these. Yeah, have to look for that. That would be nice. For now, we're probably just gonna mask it off. Wow. So fast. Truck bed full of parts. And Engine bed full of no parts. <laughs> well, it looks like it's ready to be cleaned. Got the booster on, the clutch masters off. He pulled off hard lines from the firewall. We're gonna probably just do it like this. It's out of the way enough, I think. Yeah. Uh, try to get all this dirt off. What you got there? Yeah. The most powerful cleaner ever made. Purple. We got a little brush, put on a drill. You've got a big box of scotch guard somewhere. And that should be it, so let's get started on cleaning this. Pretty clean, sand down, cleaned up. Now it's ready for some primer. Yep, using good old store spray can. Okay, 
Alright, go ahead. the final color this is it it's kind of like the uh army man green those little toys <laughs> man it's a shame we went over the yellow yeah. i wish they didn't mess with this side because you see this side was black and this side was like factory well it's kind of like they kind of messed with this side too yeah the firewall was in mid condition yeah i almost didn't even want to paint that well, anyways, this is already done. So time for color, real color. Real color, not this one. Okay, what color is that? Engine metallic. I don't think that's a color. <laughs> uh, black pearl. Okay. So, pearly black. And I'll show you the, the best painting technique. <laughs> That's how you do it. Looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Rattle can paint job. This should be a song like that, right? <laughs> you know how it's like ice cream paint job? Oh man. <laughs> I'm like, rattle can paint job. <laughs> Anyways, so we we'll just let this sit for a little bit now. It's been like a few minutes, like 10 minutes? Something like that. And now we can lay on the clear coat. So this is Black Pearl. You can see it's not like just morning black is flaking there you probably see it way better once we hit it with clear uh, we're going to use the 2k clear so it's a two part you have to activate it and then use it within like what 12 hours something like that so you, yeah, you take that red thing and then you stick it on the bottom clear glamour oh this is that extra shiny stuff this is how you know it's good oh wait <laughs> fire Okay, so this is how it looks after two, uh, what, two coats. Two coats of clear. Two coats of clear. So, I guess think. Ooh, look at that sparkle. So, this is, we call it black pearl, and then we got glamour 2K clear on top. This looks, you know. And this is all done with a can. Yeah, or this is all can. rattle can. Man. It looks quite professional. We just completed in one afternoon. Oh yeah, we literally finished in one afternoon. Yeah. Like what, four or five hours worth of work? Yeah, so I wanted to do this before we threw in the engine, which is over there. Ooh. Let's check out these banners. We added well, a couple of them. Yeah, we just added those last three over there. Four. Oh, four, yeah. What are we missing? What are we missing? I don't know. But we got room for like three more on that side. And then we still got to fill out these whole walls on the sides here too. Yeah. You should have like some depth in huh? Yeah, we don't have a single depth in one now. Yeah, it's engine bay though. So, didn't mention it? Yeah, I said I was gonna do Safari Gold valve cover. So the idea was to have like 
The engine bay just black, and then the main centerpiece be like bright and gold, or you know whatever color. I Any color's gonna pop in the black engine bay. Yeah, I like the idea. And it's gonna, you know, safari gold body color and safari gold valve cover. I think it'll be cool. So let's go take a look at the engine. So this was in the 510 and he's not using it no more so I'll be taking it. So this should be super straightforward. Apparently only the later ones came with the L20. I didn't know the that. The early ones came with L16s. Yeah, I just saw the sticker over there that said L16. And then I think in other places that came with a completely different engine, not an L series. Yeah. So it's still an L series. It should still drop right in. The same thing. Yeah. It's just a two liter instead of a one six. Yeah. Which it would have had in that year. So, so of course before we throw this in, we gotta look, get it cleaned up. Make it look pretty. So apparently this is a new carb. Yeah, brand new Weber. Uh, I gotta check out this filter. I don't want mm. don't wanna put in an ugly engine, you know. Yep. I don't know how the timing chain looks. Definitely wanna paint the block. This log manifold's gonna be swapped out, I guess. Yeah, doesn't, okay. doesn't look cool. Nope. What else? Paint this. Of course, this is getting painted as we just mentioned. Yeah, get all these ugly clamps out. Yes. See that? They're everywhere. These worm beer clamps. Everywhere. Doesn't look good. It's got this big oil filter. And this block heater? What do we need this for? Look at this. It's a hybrid. <laughs> Electric. Plugged in, <laughs> plugged in carburetor. <laughs> What's up? We got this in the 70s. Yeah, we don't need that. I'm not going to drive this in like third degree weather. Oh, yeah. So we're going to take a good look over the engine and then throw it in. Yeah, that'll be the next video. Yeah. And then hold on. We're going to. To one of these trans and wait. I don't these know. are all Datsun trans, right? Yeah. So I think this, this is the five speed. Yeah, this is your five speed. Then this one in here was the, the dog leg transmission, which is for this engine. Yeah, and then I don't want to use that actually, so we're taking out my old Z trans, which is still in there. Let's see. Yeah, so this is a four speed standard H pattern. I don't know if the uh, the gearing and stuff is gonna be different. I think it is different, but I don't we'll know. see how it goes. But it should all bolt up. Dang, it's so dusty now. I know this thing should have been done months ago, but we're still waiting for the engine. Yeah. Look at this truck bed being used up. It could carry another one of itself. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Oh yeah, just, we gotta prep the hood too, huh? So we try to paint this black, I guess? I don't know. I don't know, maybe just like a satin black. It's kind of annoying how they paint over the gold. Yeah. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't painted over, I would've left it. Yeah. Same as the engine bay. Like, what's all this? Why is it black here? I don't know, it must've been like, Away maybe, or oh yeah, maybe. Maybe it was bare metal. I don't know. It looks clean though. Yeah. I don't know. There's like yeah, there's just yeah. like this stuff everywhere. Just random it's, spots of black. Yeah, same thing over there too. And in the engine bay too. I Man, I guess it could have like protected it if it was like starting to rust. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this looks really good. Yeah, it came out really good. I like it. Yeah, we should probably do this too. Yes, some core 15. So, black engine bay to help the engine engine itself pop. Good idea. That's what I decided on my Z. All right, so the next video will be dropping the engine in. Yay, this thing is gonna run, right? Right. All, the, all the wiring's there, so oh, we'll see. Should work. Hopefully, the gas tank's not rusty or anything. Oh, 
Probably should drain the gas. Get new gas, huh? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay, see you guys later.